To get started with Power BI Report Builder, it's very simple. I can just go and go download this program from my Power BI portal. And again, it doesn't matter if you have Premium or Pro, you can simply go and download this regardless from the upper right-hand download menu. So you see here I have Power BI Desktop, Data Gateway, and Paginated Report Builder. It's not called out as Power BI Report Builder here because we want to be very specific around what types of reports this particular program creates, and it's Paginated Reports. So if I click on this, You'll see it takes me to the download screen, and I can click the download button to download it accordingly. Now, I've already downloaded and installed this on my machine, but walking through that process is very straightforward. Once you download the MSI, you can double-click and then install it on your computer. You do need Windows 7 or above to have this run, but again, for most people viewing this, that shouldn't be an issue. Once I have it installed, you'll see I have a brand new icon on my machine, and it says Untitled Power BI Report Builder when I launch a brand new project here. This is where a lot of people tend to get confused when they first come into Power BI Report Builder because it is a very different experience than Power BI Desktop in terms of what the design and creation experience is like. So for the first part of this series, I want to talk specifically about a couple areas that often trip folks up, which is both data sources and data sets.